Donnie Moss, the producer of Blinders. So Donnie, can you tell us a little bit about the documentary that you filmed and what inspired you to create it? Sure. Blinders is a 50-minute documentary about the movement to ban horse-drawn carriages. And when I started making this movie, I didn't have a strong point of view, though the sight of the carriage horses made me uncomfortable. But it quickly became evident to me that there are certain conditions in New York City which cannot be corrected in a way that would make the operation of horse-drawn carriages humane or safe. Mm -hmm. uh, horse drawn, the carriage horses don't have a pasture in New York City where they can raise and run mm -hmm. and roll and do what would come naturally to a horse. Mm -hmm. uh, they're also prey animals uh, and when a prey animal spooks and runs wild, all hell breaks loose and mm -hmm. we've seen that happen over and over mm -hmm. in New York City. Now there was just a recent incident yesterday actually, can you tell us a little bit about that and how that's maybe brought more light to your film at this point? Sure, I mean there are incidents you know, reported on a regular basis when um, there's a eyewitness who's nice enough to not only take a picture but to track down the people who would mm -hmm. generate awareness about what's happened. And in this case, a resident on West 54th Street heard uh, a commotion outside, looked out his window and took a picture of a carriage horse that had died and was lying on the ground and sent it to a, a local activist, the Coalition to Ban Horse-Drawn Carriages, who sent it to the press and now the press are running stories on it and so I actually just came back from an interview with NBC which just aired nice. which was good. Nice, that's so exciting. Yeah. Um, so how is it going so far? What's the feedback from the film? Uh, well, I mean it's, I make a pretty compelling case for why horse-drawn carriages should be banned. Mm -hmm. You know, quite frankly it's an easy issue to get behind because mm -hmm. most people don't take horse-drawn carriages so it doesn't require a major change of behavior. Mm -hmm. You know, if I were to make the same movie about meat or leather, then people would have probably challenged me more. Mm -hmm. But again, I made a sort of a bulletproof case for why these carriages, these 19th century contraptions can't be operated humanely or safely in 21st century Manhattan. Right, right. So if someone wanted to check out the film, where should they go? Blinderslemovie.com. Okay, great. So I understand that you're vegan, yes? I'm vegan. Awesome. And how long have you been vegan? Um, I went vegan after uh, starting to make the film Blinders, okay. you know, I came to the realization that why was I having compassion and empathy for these horses, mm -hmm. but not for all of the animal, other animals who are abused for mm -hmm. our stomachs or for our clothes or for our entertainment. Mm -hmm. And over time, I realized that um, I was a hypocrite by saying that I cared about animals and cared about these horses, but then was turning around and eating animals that had been mutilated. Uh, and tortured and slaughtered before they made their way out onto my plate. Yes, and how long has it been now? So I've been vegan for about six years. Nice, that's awesome. I actually just had my five year anniversary. So. Oh, mazel tov. Thank you. <laughs> right. um, and any favorite vegan restaurants that you want to give a shout out to? Uh, I love Candle Cafe. Okay, awesome. Yeah, we ate there the other night, it was great. There are a lot of great vegan restaurants yeah. in New York City, um, <laughs> but I, I lived near Candle and I used to go there a lot and yeah. uh, they treated me well and fed me nice. well and I just, I happen to love it there. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to chat with us and uh, we hopefully maybe get a meal together at some point later on, yeah? I would love that. All right, great. Well, thanks so much. Thank Bye, you. Thank you.